a train wreck. My mama, she was born to lose. My natural born name is Trouble. My middle name is Trouble. You never know when you're going to lose it. <laughs> A lot of you might be asking, how can I help out during this crazy pandemic time? That's a question that each and every one of us has to address on their own. I make content, so I figured, what can I do? I can make more content for people. It's a way to take a break from all the intensity that's going on and have a time and a place to escape, relax, and just enjoy things that are fun. Two, I do a weekly Global Zwift group ride that is open to everybody. And it's a way that we can all get together, go for a bike ride at a time where we can't get together and go for a bike ride. And three, I've decided to make masks for the grocery store workers in our local community who want them. It's a small offer, but it's something that I think can have a positive impact. So here's to taking care of ourselves and each other. <laughs> New rig, you gotta, gotta fine tune it in after four blocks of experience. I like how the dispensary's open. I don't understand all the rules. Night and day difference between the new Yenna and the heaviest fuck bomb track on the pavement. Oh my god, without comparison, Yenna for the win. But now we gotta try the dirt. Oh my, where does where does this go? I feel obligatory exploration session. Mm -hmm. any luck, this will just go to somebody's backyard. Oh boy. Oh man, very steep. Very steep. Oh, I definitely have the wrong tires for this. Oh my God, it just like keeps going. Hey, little thing to help. I designed this bike to match this exact environment. Can you see it? You might have to focus your eyes. Relax. It should come into focus any moment. From your windows of your three hundred thousand dollar homes. Well, I ain't got no home for the blues for me to roam. Oh yeah, the blues for me to roam. Sometimes it's nice to go on a ride and not have to worry about knocking out miles or hours. Just kind of explore around at whatever pace feels appropriate. How come nobody ever told me about this before? Um, this is becoming more and more of a hiking trail. This bike is almost too new right now. It feels foreign. It's not dirty enough for me. <laughs> Everything I own must have a thin layer of filth all over it. Excuse me, log, uh, we're uh, on your right. Well, this is basically why I'm here. This guy's got a 40 in the front and a 10 to 50 in the back. So I figured, why not take it on some stupid steep roads and see how it does? What the hell was I thinking? Which way do I want to go? And it puts you right back into the King's Road. 
There's the rain. That's why I brought this bright ass jacket. I wanted to apologize for the color, but now I'll be stoked for the function. 20% grade, right there. This gearing rules. Oh my God. This is awesome. I mean, it's still hard, but it's easier hard. Why, hello. Oh, well, okay. You win some, you lose some. <laughs> the good thing my tires are Vittoria Torino dries. Oh, boy. <laughs> you never know when you're gonna lose it. <laughs> well, I finally figured out the soaking point for this rain jacket. It's now. I don't expect this to stop the rain. I was just wondering how long it would resist it. Kinda long in that category. Better decision for the apparel would have been wool jersey and shake dry rain jacket. <laughs> You know, it'd be perfect right about now. A fig. Oh God. Oh, I'm gonna get so wet. Look at the sheets of water. My natural bone name is Blue sky, pouring rain. Gloomy as hell. Rally and Highway 30 back to home. My oh, it is heavy duty out here. Cats and dogs. Cats and dogs! Holy cow. The weather is all over the place. It's pouring, it's sunny, it's... I definitely got my fair share of rain. Uh... Yeah. I would say that was a proper shakedown ride for the new rig. Any and every new bike takes a little bit of working over to just kind of, there's like a courting process that happens between one and their new bike. Hey, do you like movies? What a fun ride. Oh man. And in the trees, it's like awesome. And the ride by the numbers, one hour, 45 minutes, 20 miles. Whoo, that was a big one. And 1,604 feet of elevation. You think they liked it? I don't know if I liked it. Fair enough. Any questions that you may have about stuff in this video, check the links below. Maybe I'll just put this one away wet and just let that kind of marinate the patina. Okay. If you're new here, welcome. And if you've made it this far, well, have I got a button for you. How about a video where we go on a dry ride? There you go. All right, here's a little tip for you if you ever have a camera that gets soaked in the rain. What you do is you power it on and then take the battery out and let it dry. This will get all the moisture that's on that lens off and it'll, it'll just dry a lot easier than if it's all packed up together. <laughs>